Hello kitty, this is Makisha from Ultimate You. Oh my gosh, I have already just thrown my line, my water. And then I remembered the camera is not on. And that's because I got a phone call from another soaper who she needs some help setting up her Etsy shop. So I tell her, give me a call back when I am done. Because I have crock pot full of soap and I'm trying to do some in beds at the same time. So um, that was just not good timing. But it's always good to have a help out another soap but a little later. And my hands are not so tied up doing other stuff. Anyway, so it's just some inbeds I'm trying to get done again because I realize my oils should be here by the end of this week and I want to have inbeds. And it's enough inbeds to facilitate the amount of soap I want to be doing. So, everybody still, um, I see everybody have a pictures of their Valentine soap and I haven't done anything Valentine-ish so far. But... I can just do a hot process because I love hot process and um, I'll do that which will still give me enough time. My first market event is not till February, um, I guess the first weekend in February and that will be the up market and I'm going to be there so I'll post for you guys to see what I'll have and what I will have. Um, I'll just say I didn't I didn't even do any cupcakes but I'm too busy I have so much thing going on with the, the boot in town and this and that gosh um so but I'm sure you guys know exactly how it could be at certain times okay so watch your ears a minute just mix that up so my oils that I have here it's just this one is just a uh, very little bit this is just a pound of oils with my lye solution and my oils are rice bran sunflower castor and olive let's just check in my list um, that's pretty much almost my recipe um, depending on the the soap then it will have different oils to suit but um my sister was telling me i should have just done a plain in bed get a soap a in bed soap recipe with just more plain oils so i don't use all my good oils just in, in bed okay but anyway so let me separate it out and i do that little by little until I have what I have here. So first I'm gonna do my black. This is my black oxide. And I'm gonna mix that in. It's better when you um, blend it. I must get one of those tiny blender things. Yeah. So we have black. So my lovely mustache molds. Can you guys can see that? And yes, my inbeds are all unscented. Oh my gosh, the phone is going again. I'm gonna take this off and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm okay. I'm back. I'm sorry about that. The phone just keeps ringing, and then I forgot I was even taping, and I went ahead and finished pouring my mustache in beds but i'm going to make sure you guys get to see the rest of it hopefully i'm not interrupted again so the last time i did blue butterflies going to do some what's that purple violet lilac butterflies I'm 
nice and light color. I keep putting it in a cup of water that I have there. Okay, this is my butterfly molds. Doesn't look like I have enough soap in here. Just add a little more, just to make sure I have enough. Okay. I do pray and hope it's a busy year. Every year, you know, you're hoping to do better, and that's the point of business. You're hoping to do better than the year before. Land a few more wholesale clients, a few more stores and spas and stuff like that. So, I wish all the best. And I hope that everybody moves forward. I have a little experiment that I'm getting, trying to do. But um, I'll have to do that in another video. See how that comes out. And if it comes out good, then I'm in the, in the game. Okay, so this was just enough for this, lovely. Okay, and that's my butterflies. All right, I know this is taking long and I'm taking up you guys' time, but I need to run to put this over to the shelf. But it'll get hard overnight, and then I'll pop them in the fridge when I'm ready to get them out. Let's go again. This time, hearts. You never have enough hearts. Um, I'm also going to do purple hearts because I did red hearts the last time. So again, I'm going to do purple hearts. That's why I can use the same color container. more hearts I need to put more soap making soap is so time consuming you know and the quality effort time ingredients that you put into a soap is why we charge the way we charge and is why it makes it so much better better sorry than a commercial soap Sometimes I do a market and people ask me so much for for a soap. Oh, but I go to the store and get three for that price and I'll be like, it depends on how you want to take care of your skin, darling. Be soaps and then I'll break it down and the difference between a commercial soap and um, a handmade soap. And then also what I love to do, especially if they tell me to use certain big brand name soaps and have a beautiful video I love by soap in 101 thanks teach for that I always repost that the one with the little dove yeah I always repost that and send it to the person so they can see it's nothing big and special about it nothing big and special about it So when they think of something big and special and they're using such best things, I got better stuff right here. And as soap makers, we all have better stuff, you know? And then if you're a soap maker like me, 
that always looking for the best and to improve and stuff like that then you're good to go your product talks for itself even if you go a event and it have like four of you like I did a few markets in December and November where there were like five of us doing soaps it's a big it's a huge place and I never care I never care how much it have and most of the time I will make friends with all of them because it's good we're all doing the same things and you know we will be able to help and assist one another in certain things you know it's not fight down it's not be everybody will have a different style in the way they cut and the way they package and as far as ingredients they use so I think everybody's stuff is just unique so what's the big deal And then I always say, what is yours is yours. Go to skip. And that's it. What is yours is yours. Go to skip. So that's the hearts. Nice. Careful hearts. Okay, so now I just have stars and ducks. So I did yellow ducks the last time. Um, I should probably do more yellow ducks. I don't know what other color ducks go in. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, I'll just do some more yellow. And for yellow, I just put um, a bit of turmeric powder. And it looks brown as I showed you when I put it, because sometimes I put too much. Huh? and turmeric is so good for you I love to use turmeric anytime I, I have no yellow oxide up to now or no kind of yellow colorant anytime I need a yellow I find my turmeric and I use my turmeric powder on that and that's it just trying to adjust the color I now realize you can make half of what I'm doing that's better next time yell at me let me know, dude, I can't see what you're doing. Okay? Gosh, we gotta help each other, right? I did a video of me unmolding some of these already when I did the first set but I didn't show the making so that's why I'm showing the making now so yes I'm back to front at the moment doing stuff back to front lovely and that's the ducks And for the stars, well, the stars are normally just white in its natural color. Ooh, look like that. That is not even a little, that's damn well too much. Right, see, I filled a whole new one with that. Over pouring, over pouring. Oh my gosh, these days I cannot sleep. I think I'm anxious on my new orders that are coming in. I have a big order from Paper Mart, two big orders from Nature Garden because I never ordered from Nature Garden before. Um, so I'll see how that works out for me. For shipping, because you pay double shipping. Oh my gosh, there goes the phone again. Okay guys, let me wrap it up here and we'll talk tomorrow. So that's practically it anyway. So that's it. Bye.